Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about distance and midpoint between two points. So the given are possibly the graph or the coordinates of two points. So the distance formula that we are going to use is D is equal to the square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So... So why do we need to use x sub 2 and x sub 1? Definitely, since we have two points, we have first point, uh, we have the first value of x and the first value of y. And p sub 2, we have second value of x and second value of y. So the distance formula is derived from uh, Pythagorean theorem. Okay, that's why we are using d is equal to the square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And for the midpoint, the formula is m that is equal to the sum of x coordinates x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. And y sub 1 plus y sub 2 are the sum of the y coordinates divided by 2. So let us have example number 1. Given two points on a Cartesian plane, find the distance and midpoints. So we have to find the distance between these two points on a Cartesian plane using this formula. So let us have the coordinates of these points for us to solve this formula or for us to use this formula. So the first point or the coordinates of this first point are, of course, in x-coordinate, we have negative 2 and y coordinate we have negative 1. For the second point or p sub 2, we have positive 4 for the x coordinate and then for the y coordinate we have also 4. Okay, now let us substitute all the values of the formula. We have x sub 2, x sub 1, y sub 2, and y sub 1. Okay, so now. The first values of x, this one, x sub 1, is negative 2. The second value is 4, or x sub 2. Now, x sub 2 is 4, minus x sub 1 is negative 2. Okay, this is square root of quantity 4 minus negative 2 squared, plus the quantity of y sub 2. So y sub 2 is the second value of y. So this one, p sub 2, therefore y sub 2. And then y sub 1 is from point 1, which is negative 1. So we have y sub 2, that is 4, minus y sub 1 is negative 1, and then square. So 4 minus negative 2. Okay, subtraction of integers. So you have to... Change the sign of the subtrahend, so it will become positive 2. And then, change the operation to plus. So, 4 plus 2 squared plus, then 4, then plus positive 1 squared. So, 4 plus 2, that is equal to 6 squared, plus 4 plus 1, that is 5 squared, then square root. 6 squared is 36 plus 5 squared is 25. Then square root. Square root of 36 plus 25, that is square root of 61. And the square root of 61, that is equal to approximately 7.81 units. So now let us have the midpoint. So the formula for midpoint that is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 or the sum of the x coordinates divided by 2 and the sum of the y coordinates divided by 2 or y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Okay, now let us substitute. x sub 1 is equal to negative 2 plus x sub 2 is 4 divided by 2, okay? 
And then for values of y, so we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2. So this y sub 1 is negative 1 plus y sub 2 is positive 4 divided by 2. Okay? So negative 2 plus 4, that is equal to 2 over 2. Okay? So 2 over 2 or is 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. Okay? 1. Comma. Negative 1 plus 4, that is equal to 3 over 2. 3 divided by 2. So 3 divided by 2, that is equal to 1.5. Five. Okay, so the midpoint is 1, comma 1.5. So let us find it on the graph or Cartesian plane. So this one, 1 for the value of x, and then y is 1.5. So this one, the point or the midpoint is 1 and then 1.5. Okay, now, now let us have example number two. So for example number two, so we have find the distance and midpoint between point A, which is two comma four, and point B, which is six comma seven. So the coordinates of point A are two comma four, and coordinates of point B are point, uh, six comma seven. So let us use the formula to find the distance. So D is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay, now, from the given points, point A and point B, so the distance between A and B, or that is AB, so we have x sub 1, and this one is x sub so 6 minus 2 and then square and then for y sub 2 we have y sub 2 and this one is y sub 1 first point second point that's why we have x sub 1 and y sub 1 that is the first point the second point is x sub 2 and y sub 2 okay so plus 7, that is y sub 2, the second y, the second value of y, minus 4. 4 is the first value of y, coordinate, and then square. Okay, and then square root. So we have 6 minus 2, that is 4. So square root of 4 squared plus 7 minus 4, that is 3 squared. Okay, now. 4 squared, that is equal to 16. Okay, the square root of 16 plus 9. Since 3 squared, that is 3 times 3. Yung 4, ay, 4 squared is 4 times 4. So now, the square root of 16 plus 9, that is equal to square root of 25. So what is the square root of 25? That is equal to... 5 units. Okay? So, therefore, the distance between the point A and B, so that is AB, that is equal to 5 units. So, now let us have the midpoint. So, midpoint again, the formula is M, the sum of X coordinates x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 comma the sum of y coordinates so y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 okay so x sub 1 that is equal to 2 plus x sub 2 the second value of x is 6 divided by 2 comma the first value of y, so y sub 1 is 4, plus the second value is 7, divided by 2. 
So, 2 plus 6 is 8. Divided by 2, comma, 4 plus 7 is 11 over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, comma, 5.5. So, therefore, the midpoint is 4, comma, 5.5 between A and B. For more practice, you may test yourself. Find the distance and midpoint between each pair of points. So the first one, point C, that is negative 4, 3, and point D, 7, 6. So the first pair of points, we have C and D. Then second one, F, negative, that is negative 3, 9, and G, that is equal to 2, 5. So we have point F and point G. And then number 3, point J and point K. Coordinates 4, 7 and negative 6, negative 1. So you may answer this and comment your answer on the chat box below. Okay, I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe to our channel.